adventures to roll slang with Roman! Seekers, wandering whispers, and longing listeners, I welcome you to this whole new world of imagination. Here you will follow the story of two adventurers, their paths intertwined at the table of a homebrew Dungeons and Dragons campaign. One of these characters you may recognize as Roman. Though I tell you truly, in this world he is a character separated from that of the Sandersides universe. This Roman has much to learn much to experience, and many new friends to make. Please understand this. Now, AJ, you may commence the campaign. We begin with Roman. Hello, everyone. It's good to be here. I'm, I'm, happy, to, I'm happy to be part of this. Welcome happy to play to some the, games. Welcome to the pod. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up in the idyllic town of Reston, out of your bay window. Oh, I get a bay window. Oh, it's yeah. nice. You also hear a frog croak, a very loud frog, like, or whatever the frogs make. You smell fresh baked bread, like that's that beautiful smell that just wafting heavily through mm. the air. Mm. What's Roman's morning routine? Roman wakes up because of that friggin' frog. Every morning. Yeah, it's, it's the town's rooster. It's a frog. <laughs> Splash water on my face from, I guess, a, I think a trough. Look at myself in the mirror, check for zits. I have one hair that grows in here, so I shave that off. Urgh, and then goes downstairs to get some of that bread. Perfect. <laughs> so you descend the long- Oh, I forgot to put on clothes. This happens every time. Not that type of video. <laughs> All right. You descend the long stairway down the humbly decorated halls of your family's keep. Mm. To the left sits your father's old dim green armor on a stand. Oh. Um, on the mantle is your family's ancestral sword. Mm. To the right of it is uh, your dad, seated and oh. <laughs> enjoying the small peace that the morning can give him. Oh. You know, the hustle and bustle of being kind of like the protector of a town. And his name, of course, is? Riker. 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 Okay. Riker. You're Barely knew her. <laughs> 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 I love this already so much. <laughs> Behind this stoic veteran adventure with graying hair and a ton of scars from a lifetime of adventuring. This like yeah. hard looking figure is your dad. Yeah. The sun is gleaming off of slivers of like silver armor beneath that white cloak that's embroidered with gold with it, his regalia, your family sigil, sitting right there on his chest to pin it all. And the weird thing, takes him 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes to get probably. that all on. It, it really only does. What up, Pops? Mm -hmm. How you doing? Oh, does he like, he probably doesn't like Pops. <laughs> <laughs> what up, what up, Daddy-o? Mm. Pops. Father, sorry. I tried something new today. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, Roman, Roman, day. my boy. Oh, come okay. On, come, come in, come in. Oh, come in. okay. Oh, good. Okay, right. so we have a good relationship. Yeah. We're working. I, 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 hope, <laughs> I, I, I hope that you slept well. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm glad that you have a little bit of bread. Uh, the rest of breakfast will be on its way in a moment. Oh, good. I, I was I was hoping. I guess bacon? Bacon or um, eggs? I think today it's croissants. Croissants? Croissants. Wow, we are living big today. Any chance that we're going to be doing anything, you know, exciting today in this this little town? Little town of Reston? Well, yes, actually. Really? Yes. Your Aunt Patty and I have heard some reports of a monster beast that seems to be lurking out on the woods in the edge of town. Oh. My. Glove. We would like you to be the one patrolling the town today. Oh, just and patrolling the town? Yes. So I'm not going and, like, actually fighting this monster you're talking about? No, you won't be going Great. with us to fight the monster. Great. We won't be here. Who will mm. be there to protect it? And the people. Me. It's just you. Okay. But I, I actually do have something else for you out on the edge of town. 
Okay. Um, we've heard some reports. There seems to be another kind of noise going out there. That it's a bit ghastly. It could be that frog. I'm not sure if it's just some traveler making some strange noise or if it's like an animal or... So I ask that you'll be looking into that and if All it right. needs help, help it. Make sure to bring your water and don't forget your bag whenever we go out. Yes, of All course. Right. This is gonna be that freaking when I found that dog all over again. And it belonged to my neighbor and I didn't even get to keep it. You really just took their dog. I taught it how to heal mm -hmm. and to sit. Mm -hmm. And then I took it to the neighbors and they said that it all already learned those tricks. Mm -hmm. But I retaught it better. No. Yeah. You didn't. And his name's Sparky. I don't care how often they call him friggin' Fred. Who names a dog a person name? That is a bit silly. Right? right? Thank you. It's not Thank a dog. you, Dad. I know you'll do well. I'm just afraid to. Except that you might be fully ready for the responsibility. Dad, it's just. It's just more boring than a, a horse in a unicorn petting zoo. It's not the most glorious of positions, but... Come on. But these people rely on us, mm -hmm. and they rely on you. Too. Yeah, maybe while I defend the town, I get the opportunity to use that baby right there, that big old sword on the mantle, the family sword, that is promised to me eventually. Eventually. Looking at the family, staring at it, you remember the countless stories that your father has told you of the like line of adventurers that have all held that sword. Whenever it is your time to get that sword and take upon that responsibility, mm. it is you carrying on that exact same legacy of these people, of yeah. your family line. That's what I dream for. Your thought process is interrupted as you hear a very loud clanking and a heavy smell of bread in the air, like waft through the air. That is good. It's so good. Love um, me some carbs. Oh. The person that comes up the uh, stairs is your dear Aunt Patty oh. holding a, uh, a big basket of freshly baked croissants. Oh my gosh. So this is okay. Aunt Patty. This is Aunt Patty. This is, I'm Aunt Patty now. Wait. <laughs> we have a drawing of Aunt Patty? Here is your dear Aunt Patty. I oh love her. So in front of you is your dear Aunt Patty, an eight foot tall grandma wearing bronze plated armor and the rosiest smile. That's not like your mom, yeah. but that is like essentially your dad's best friend and kind of was like, well, of course I'm going to help raise it. Oh it's my Roman. gosh, she's like my Auntie Patty. Yes. yes. <laughs> Hello, dearies. I've got croissants for us for the road. Aunt Patty! Yes. I hope that you're excited for your day. It's a big one. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. We have a lot to do today, a lot to do. All right, all right. You've never gone further than the edge of town Ooh. since your dad won't let you. Yeah. Um, the wheat fields surrounding this town are massive. Just gently roving waves wow. of wheat. Wow. Um, eventually they give way to a forest mm. and you all continue heading down the road. Ooh. Aunt Patty passes you a croissant. Thank you. And asks you, after you finish with your dad's task, can you look into a few small thefts for me that have happened around town. Oh, I thought, sorry. I thought for a second you were telling me to commit some thefts around town. No, 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 almost, no, no, no. My brain almost opposite, broke for a second. The opposite, okay. the opposite. Okay, great. Yes, yes, quite the opposite. <laughs> Burgundy and Dorian have both had something stolen from them recently. Right, Dorian and Burgundy. Mm -hmm. Those two that I Absolutely, no. Oh, yes, no, you've known them for a long time. I've known them for a long time. Yes, okay, this might be more exciting than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Your Aunt Patty's so excited and also very proud of you and ready for things. Oh, my gosh. So, it's it's you, Aunt Patty, and Riker going down this road. Okay. Aunt Patty's almost, like, too excited and wanting to, like, give away the goat a little. Actually, do me a favor, oh, real quick. she knows. Will you open uh, up your dice, please? My dice. Your dice. <laughs> excited roll, about roll, these dice. Roll me an insight. Insight. And which dice do I use? R roll the D20. The D20? Big one. Right there. Six. Plus? <laughs> Plus two. I feel like an eight, a total of eight, makes sense for Roman. <laughs> you have no exact idea what she's doing. <laughs> but her excitement is just like, oh, there's something fun for me today. And that's whenever Riker reaches over and grabs a croissant, beginning to like head kind of off, off the path into the woods. Mm -hmm. If you'll excuse me, I have a monster to take care of, Patty. Oh, and Roman. You're gonna do well. Aunt Patty's goes like, mm, no, I agree. You're going to do well, but let me guess. He didn't give you the sword, did he? The, the sword he over the mantle? Yeah, no. No, he didn't give you the sword. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> Called it. What? Called it. We had such a long discussion, and yet he still isn't trying it. No, Look, what? Let me see about something. Aunt Patty reaches over into her, like, side satchel uh -huh. and goes, do you feel ready? 
Yeah, I feel ready every day. She takes your family's ancestral sword out of her bag. Oh, wow! It does not seem like it should fit. Yeah. She throws it in the air, grabs it by the blade, and just kind of like holds it out to you, and then goes, now make your decision. If you grab this, I'm taking the training sword. Absolutely. Cool. <laughs> and then you take that. She then like... <laughs> It's very heavy. <laughs> well, it's a lot heavier than this old wood thing. And then she tosses that over her shoulder just off into the woods. It just goes like... <laughs> just gone. You won't need Sparky! <laughs> Keep that sword safe. Wow. Keep it with you. And I know that you're ready. Yeah. You've been more than ready. She reaches out and she like pinches your cheek. Ow. Invite whoever is making that noise out into the woods back into town. Be courteous. Be kind. Invite them. But it, you know, if they show me any sort of intimidating... Intimidating movements. Gonna, you got the sword. Now. Take him out with this bad you got boy. The sword, but I asked that you know how to swing it real hard. It can be a bit intimidating to have someone just immediately take out a blade take. in front of you. Uh, but yeah, I can see how that goes. That yeah. might, yeah. Mm -hmm. You hear Riker calling out to Aunt Patty. Patty, Patty, Ooh. the monster's gonna die of old age before we can slay it. Let's go. We both know I'll get there first. <laughs> you old coot. <laughs> <laughs> and then she looks back and goes. Best of luck, dearie. You're gonna do so good. Gosh. And then she begins like bound. She like begins bounding off. And uh, she, wait, she as she goes to go bounding off, she saps her quick. Wait, I forgot. Where's? Don't forget your candy. <gasps> oh, they're shaped as hearts. You are now alone. In the silence, you hear a quiet hum begin to echo through the woods. You find yourself at a small camp, and its occupant is an elf. Oh, and with that. Moving on to our other adventurer. Zip! Which, okay. by the way, hi, Terrence. Hello. Yes, very happy we've got right. Terrence here. You are running through the woods, looking okay. back towards the fading kingdom in the sky as you make your way through the brush. A few hours before a new dawn rises, you stumble into a clearing. It's silent. You smell something wonderful, not terribly far from you, and you can tell that there is a small town that is nearby. You're alone now, though, and able to take a break able to release that breath of song. Mm. What does that sound like? Just make up singing right now. You can uh, just like... Uh, wow. <laughs> Hell yeah, no, that's perfect. That singing, actually, you wake yourself up from it. The thing that you just saw, that, that whole image in the sky, is you in a dream state remembering what you've been through recently. Okay. Mm. Will you roll me a D6? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Horrible. <M. One. laughs> the first roll was literally a one? Yes. Yeah. Yep. It was a one. That's a great sign. It's a good sign. <laughs> there is a tree kind of near the edge of the uh, clearing. As you begin to wake up and you find yourself m making that song out loud, that tree catches on fire. Oh, Real quick, will you roll me a stealth check? 13. 13. And add your stealth modifier, friend. That tree suddenly just goes whoosh in front of you. Oh. Um, and it's up to you how you act, but you rolled a 16 in <laughs> stealth. So you got freaked out. I stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. I mean, you roll. And then you roll back into the rest of the woods. <laughs> right. I roll. Trying to get that fire off and being as quietly screaming as possible. What's your morning routine like in your little camp? I put the fire out. Mm hmm. After Smart. putting out the fire, I eat. I sort of check my surroundings to make sure no one's like been f***ing around with my area. Will you roll me a perception check then? 14. Oh. Plus? Plus two. Oh, so I have 16. And that matches yours. Yeah. Ah! Um, honestly, <laughs> as you walk around that one tree that's kind of like a bit further into the clearing, you can see like little patches of grass where it like clearly someone was just there mm -hmm. out in that brush is Roman, you are now looking down an yeah. intruder in your camp currently. What the f are you doing? <laughs> uh, what the f are you doing here? <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, I came, so sorry. I came on a little strong. I came on a little No, it's fine. It was no. me. I, yes. No, no, you're fine. I just, I don't do well with people invading my space, and I can clearly see you were doing that. Yeah, no, totally. So, hear here, you loud and clear. But, little hang up there, you are. You're not from town. You're not from Reston. No, right? no, I'm not. Yeah, because I've never, I've never seen you. Before. No, I'm not. Our what? population I'm is. I'm sorry. Like... What is Reston? Is that uh, Reston? One is... smelling the bread. Is that where that's? That is where the. the oh. Honestly, yes. We've got lovely lady Sweet. in there. I, I'm trying to figure out where you're from. 
What, what's what's your deal? Because you're out That's here in the woods. None of your business. Well, it kind of. But mm. I'd love to know why are you out here? I was instructed to inspect a noise. You're kind of lucky because if that tree that I was hiding behind very stealthily hadn't caught a blaze, but Fair. you know, I was recovering from that, and I got found out, and um, so, and yeah. So. What? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask you this like so. Young Blood. Young Blood. Young Blood. Ooh, that's exciting. What's your dad's name? Old no, no, no. Old Blood. <laughs> my name is Roman. Roman of Reston. Oh. And I have been instructed by my father, who mm. is the guardian of this town, to patrol the city. What were you doing? What were you? How did you make that noise? I, I was just singing. What is that? S singing? Yeah. What is that? I've never heard it's of that before. You. Okay, well, the way it works is your vocal cords vibrate very quickly. And is that for... And then... Do you do it to, like, capture uh, prey? Like to... No, I, I, um, I just needed to let out... It was building up in me, and that is how I release... You know, some people do yoga, and oh. I release my tension by singing. Okay. Yeah, no, I do some calisthenics. Yeah. Um, you want to come into town? Do you want to? Do you want to stay here in the in the camp? And yeah, I should probably grab my stuff. Yeah. yeah um. Uh, and, yes. Uh, and please. I'll follow you into into. Really quick. You roll insight. You roll investigation, please. Fourteen. I've got a one. <laughs> so that's our first critical fail. <laughs> um, if you roll a 1, 1 is a critical fail, and a 20 is a critical success. Great. You're kind of realizing, like, I know yeah. next to nothing about this person, but as far as your investigation yeah, so far seems like, has gone... Seems like a cool dude. Entirely trustworthy. This, this is the most green person I think you could have met. Mm -hmm. You're just like, oh, oh, you're the town patrol? Mm -hmm. If you're what I need to worry about in, like, the people protecting this town, <clears throat> I'll be perfectly safe there. And I totally... Totally know how to use this sword. Okay. <laughs> roll persuasion. <laughs> roll persuasion. I'm, I'm gonna just make you roll that one. I got a 15 on that one. <laughs> that is the only thing as far as you know you might be able to do. It is probably in my best interest to make friends or if I can't make friends, I might be able to take advantage of him because he clearly has no idea what he's doing. And um, I need things and he looks like he might have them. So I could not possibly lose from this. And as you are on your way, you can kind of feel that there is another set of eyes watching you from the woods. Mm -hmm. You two begin walking into the town of mm. Reston. Yes. So uh, I'm gonna ask you two put yourselves right there. It's it's Reston with an O. Mm -hmm. I thought it was with an I. Like I said, <laughs> that's <green>. in character. <laughs> Get to show you the ropes of Reston. I know mm -hmm. the whole place. I grew up here. It's not too much of a tour, but. I can at least get you some croissants. You guys got a lot of wheat. Yes, Yeah. a lot of wheat. Kind of so, what we do. I probably have a vitamin C deficiency. <laughs> um, you walk into the Reston Town Square, which is a large circle, with a few people meandering around at a very leisurely pace. It yeah. is, again, the most peaceful place on Earth. Love it. On your right, attached to the keep, is a blacksmith shop, and a bit further down, you can see a slightly small general goods store with a very nice, like, crisp-looking hand-painted sign. This is gorgeous. You also see a large converted inn, you know to be Burgundy Red's Bakery. Burgundy Red's Bread's. Mm. Directly across there, you see two other streets leading to other parts of town. The two people that were stolen from was Dorian and Burgundy Red. So where, where would you like to go first? I would say we need to go right to Burgundy Red so that we can get some information on this thievery. That's a great start. Thank you, new friend. Following your lead. Thank you, new acquaintance. We're not there yet. Yeah, I don't know you. Yes. In front of you is a large converted inn. Ooh, the chimney is pumping out a soft smoke that is sending out the scent of fresh baked goods into the rest of the town. Oh. Two customers are currently exiting with a small paper bag. Um, one of them is seeming rather distraught and a bit sad, oh. while the other is comforting them. He's crying like real sad. It's like, just bread, friend. <laughs> you know it's more than that. Damn, y'all like bread. Yeah, yeah, we do. We like our bread. Outside the door, you see a small poster that reads, if it ain't Burgundy Red's breads, you're better off dead. <laughs> do you go in? Uh, yeah. 
Yes? Do you want to have gone in with him? No, because I still don't trust him just you, yet. So you want to take a look around first before you go into the building? Mm. Yeah, I'm going to look around. You are hit with another wall of good smell. I mm. mean, I know it's literally just more. It's just, imagine like you've gotten closer and closer to the bread aisle mm -hmm. in the store. Yeah. You see conveyor belts running literally all around this bakery. They're normally carrying a ridiculous assortment of like a bunch of sweet breads and every type of pastry that you can think of. Currently, it is literally all croissants. Love it. Like literally all just croissants. croissants. This is all powered by one wheel hanging up in the very top. Inside of it, you just see a small gray goat just like tap it along. <laughs> oh. Just to keep all the conveyor belts running. Wow. Oh. We all know, how, oh, we all know go. how fantasy Tiny. bakeries work yes. that run exclusively on goat power. <laughs> Come exactly. on. Behind a counter, uh, you see burgundy red. Uh -huh. We'll leave you there for a moment. You are currently outside doing an investigation. Roll an investigation check. For okay. Me. 14. Plus? Oh, uh, it was plus one. <laughs> so walking around the outside of the bakery, you can see that there is clearly a like stand area where like some barrels of honey would have been. Mm. They've literally been like ripped out of the wall. Got like, it. it whatever, whatever ripped that thing off must have been big. Got it. From there, we go inside to where? Burgundy. Right. How you doing? So you Look at Burgundy! Much like her namesake, Burgundy Red is wearing certainly a lot of red. Yes. And Burgundy. This tiger person is also dressed like beyond fancy. She's serving looks yes. alongside yes. Red. Yes. Huh? Red. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Yeah. Roll for history? Mm hmm. Eight. So what's your. Negative name? one. <laughs> <laughs> so seven. So, this was more like what you can really remember of like the conversations and things you had with oh, Burgundy no. Red. The croissants Aunt Patty gave you weren't good enough? <laughs> Not surprised. I suppose I can't blame you. Here, your favorite as usual. Oh. Ooh, but something tells me this isn't the only reason you've come. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is something else that I'm supposed mm -hmm. to be here for. Yes. Mm -hmm. To find my stolen goods. Yes. Yes. You. So you, you, obviously you know about that. Yes. <laughs> what can you tell me about it? Yes. Two barrels of my honey was stolen this <sighs> morning, and it has terribly messed up my business. Oh, honey. Are you curious who took it at all? Yes, I am. Do you know? <laughs> you have some information on that. Your I have assumption. my suspicions that yes. it's that small group of ragamuffins that run around town. The, Are uh, you making muffins now? I've been making muffins. Oh! As you most likely know, mm -hmm. it is probably Fast Timmy's gang. Fast Timmy? Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, I hate that dude. The small blue boy that runs around. Before Makes you go off, I believe Dorian had something stolen from him. Yes, that's as, what I heard. Well, as you might want to go ask Samuel over in the goods store. He gotcha. tends to talk to Fast Timmy from time to time. There's a chance that he'll know more, but I almost can assure you that it was Fast Timmy Fast and Timmy. his gang. I ask that you deal with them swiftly and thoroughly. Do you go into the store? Yes, I then go in once I realize it's safe to do so. Okay, so entering the store, you see Roman and Burgundy Red over there having a conversation about who might have done this. Oh. I'm, I'm very intrigued by the goat-powered conveyor belt. Belt, uh, but I'm also picking up everything that Burgundy is putting down as far as who she thinks might have ransacked our honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yup. At one point, you feel something like kind of like brush past your leg. Looking down, um, you see a gray goat. Mm -hmm. Just right there, right there beside you. Uh, okay. It seems to be almost identical to the one that you're seeing up in the wheel. Yeah. Oh, right. The one goat is there. there yeah. There's only one. What do you mean? You saw another goat? There was literally a whole other goat. Hasn't that it always been one goat? It's one me. goat. I'm not There's crazy. only one goat. No. Okay. What? I know you're lying, but I'm going to I'm going to let this pass. Roll insight. 18. Burgundy's telling you the whole truth. You saw another goat? Yes, a goat walked past yes, me. There's only, there's and only went, he's resourceful. It was the same That's, goat. Yes, he's very resourceful. So there are not, you do not own two goats. I don't own him. Why you would I own another being like that? That's a business partner. So investigating this bakery, um, looking around, you can see on one of the walls what are essentially employee of the month plaques. Uh -huh. um, and one is seeming to be a white haired uh, elf. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going interspersed in between that and a goat. One after another, go going back elf, and forth. Go, go elf, elf, go elf, go elf, go elf. Go elf. Lit. That, that's about it. You're not you're not seeing too much else in here. That's seeming relatively suspicious. Beyond that goat, I'm a little intrigued now. I'm interested in the fact that the honey is missing. I want to track down how whoever might be connected to that. What are you finding? I found 
Missing honey. I have more information. Yes. So Burgundy uh -huh. believes uh -huh. that Fast Jimmy Timmy? is behind. Timmy. I heard. The, I was just peeping through the window, yes. and I'm pretty sure. I meant Timmy. Well, we have to get more information. The goods store uh -huh. is home to Samuel, uh -huh. and Samuel deals with Fast Timmy. I Dorian? say we should go talk to Dorian. Dorian. Ah. To see if. If if he also might think fast Timmy, and then yes. then we'll talk to Sam, so that way we can try yeah. to figure out what the f fast Timmy is up to. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna go to Dorian first. Uh, best of luck, you two. Uh, here, uh, Burgundy oh, takes oh. out a uh, croissant and just goes. Uh, would you like any uh, breads for the in uh, investigation? Sure, uh, I take them cautiously, because I still don't know y'all like that. So over to Dorian's. Yes, that's the blacksmith shop that is attached to your family's keep. Nope, is that, that is family's that's, keep. That's Here. Tenpenny Samuel. Boop, boop, um, boop. You head into the old shack connected to the side of the keep, which you know you'll find the town blacksmith. Inside the air is heavy and warm. You see the blacksmith just smacking a red hot piece of metal that he is holding down with his hand. It is shooting off green sparks every time that he smacks it. Oh. To like the right, you see a painting. Okay. Um, oh. Is this the blacksmith that like created the armor that my father wears? Mm, not that armor. No. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Probably, obviously probably not the sword because the sword's been in my family for generations. No, did not make that did not make that one either. Oh. What's his name? Who? The blacksmith. Dorian. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> one inspiration point. Oh, I get an inspiration yeah, just point. Put, just, just, put, just put one in there for right now. You can just add that to any roll to give it a plus one. Um, oh. Including including Terrence's. Add that uh, to any roll. Um, all right. For so only one time? Only once. Oh. His skin is a very pale purple. His hair should be white, but is always darkened with like ash and soot. He has two very large horns protruding from his head. He has a kind smile and eyes full of constellations. Ooh! Oh my gosh. Wow. I love his eyes. I know, there are actual constellations. Yeah, look eyes. at that. Oh. <laughs> I love it. God. Dorian, you old so-and-so. We have a few questions. Well, listen, hold, can you, oh, don't, get, don't get ahead of yourself. You Come got on. this. You, yes, I do. You two are having this in front of him, and just <laughs> not, he, he is just not faced. Um, Dorian? Knowing you, like just knowing you well enough. Oh. Dorian. Oh, Roman. Yes. Roman. Ah, and a newcomer, I see. Yes, his name's Youngblood. I found him in the woods, and I brought him home. So good of you to come by. What what brings you? We had heard hear tell of some th thie thefts that are happening yes. around, uh, that you experienced. Oh, we talked with Burgundy, and honey was stolen from her. Mm. Was honey stolen from you? No, not honey. Oh, that which is most precious to me. That painting. He looks over to a painting that is sitting over in the side of the room. It's a seascape painting of a ship floating in an old abandoned dock with rolling waves reflecting constellations off the ground. Well, uh, I have got some good news for you, Dorian. I found your painting. It's right over there. That which held up, which is most precious to me, which is the nail. A nail? So, Wait, so... A nail. A nail was stolen from you. Yes. So... Just a regular nail. Uh, mm, not quite. Uh, excuse me, Dorian. Oh, of course. Ask him Ping. if the nail has any special abilities, because if somebody just took a nail, we're wasting our time here. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh -huh. Dorian, does the nail have any special abilities attached to it? Yes, it, one, holds up that painting. Got mm. that. Two, it makes that painting somewhat come to life a lot more. What? And just Ooh. brings me a lot of peace and joy and comfort. Uh, one second, Dorian, I have a, another thought. Ask him who he thinks took it. Dorian, off the top of my head, who do you think took this nail? Well, I personally wouldn't be able to tell you. It's I don't much look up from my work. Dorian, I don't know if we have any other questions. I think I'm in a hurry to get over to Samuel's. Yeah, I want to figure out what's going on. Thank yeah. you. Best of luck, you two. Thank you, Dorian. Heading over to the General Goods Store. General Goods Store. Do you go through the door? Oh, well, uh, no, I go through the window. No, you want me to go through the door. Yes. You roll me a deck safe. A deck, uh huh? 
One. <laughs> One. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> as, as you're heading into this slightly small general goods store, you hit your head on the door. <laughs> With your history in the place, there's specifically a spot right here. <laughs> That, that you've is been, like a little you've bit been indent of hitting your head. It's not just you. <laughs> Maybe that's why I can't remember facts. It ain't pretty. Like I'm yeah. going to know. Um, by the way, <laughs> you take two points of damage. Oh gosh! I haven't even fought yet, and you were... no, 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 gameplay. That I totally. <laughs> yeah. That was on purpose. It's a traditional head bump. The s shelves are stocked with a broad range of goods, yeah. very general in their nature, and you hear quiet jazz music playing, and there's a few flies buzzing around. The room. The store is not built for you. It's clearly built for like shorter people. Oh, okay. Um, in front of you. Oh my god! Oh my a god! Frog. Wait, was he the frog I was listening to before? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was Samuel. He gets up early in the morning. Oh! And late at night. In front of you is a frog that wears a very handsome three-piece suit, I a bright blue him. bow tie, and a styled pencil mustache. Oh my god! His relaxed posture and demeanor doesn't dim the confidence uh, radiating off of this frog. This is great. Mm -hmm. This is this is lovely. Well, if it is a Rustin's newest protector. Oh my gosh! That is wonderful. That's so good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Samuel. Samuel. It's always a pleasure to see that mug squeezing through my doorway. And you brought a guest, no less. Yes. Welcome to the General Goods Store. Thank Please you. buy anything. It's all full price. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Tin Penny Samuel, fully legitimate business amphibian and owner of this humble General Goods Store. Would either of you like a Tin Penny? Oh, Tin Penny. I was curious as to -E why you didn't have a Tin Penny. P E N N Y. Wow. Now we, now we wow. Yes, sorry. No, I don't want a tin penny, but. Oh, I mean, that's a shame. Almost everything here just costs one. Well, if well, can you I, one, Can I have one? Of course. Please. You're offering it. He flips it over to you and then immediately just has another one in his hand just woken up. Oh, wow. And I caught it. Nice. What, what might be bringing you two in today? Well, Samuel, you know me. Mm. I am mm. running patrol today. Mm. There have been some thefts. We know that, but yes. I've been told that you may have some run-ins with the suspect. Fast Timmy? Hmm. Yes. I'm not gonna currently claim anything one way or the either, but I would like to know what was taken. Uh, Burgundy? What? Hmm? Okay. One moment, Samuel. Oh, of course, of course. I don't know if we want to share that. Did you not pick up on how reluctant he was to give us any information as to whether he knows Fast Timmy? Yeah, but what was, was it gonna hurt for us to be able to... He just gives me a weird vibe. It gives okay. me a weird vibe. Okay. I think you need to work out some trust issues. Um, <laughs> if you two would, please tell me what's going on. I'm willing to bet that Tim Penny Samuel might know a thing or two about everything here. I've known Samuel since I was a kid. But you didn't know that that was him croaking earlier. No, yeah, I just put two and two together on that one. That's... Woo! <laughs> if you trust him, I mean... go... Okay, let's go on. Samuel! We're, we're looking for um, some honey that was stolen from Burgundy. Oh, okay. They stole the honey from Burgundy? That, that's, that's messed up. Stealing someone's bread and butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still got butter, I think. That's unforgivable. We gain nothing from trying to benefit from the misfortune of others. Yes. The only way that we can benefit is through friendship. See? And find his fees. See? Now, I happen to Samuel, be able to find something. Samuel. I to, what? I run a business here, Roman. If I have to find the item myself, then it's finder's fees. But information? Information's free for me. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right. That works for us. Well, okay. So we're also looking for a nail. Mm. That's a magical nail mm. that Dorian owns. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I know the nail. I know just the nail. You do? Yeah. I haven't the froggiest who's committing any of these horrible, horrible things that are going on. Oh okay. my gosh. All right. But any of these people that you have a checking out, if any of them ain't wearing one of the ribbons that ain't Patty's giving out. Has any of them worn any of the ribbons? Not been wearing any of those ribbons. Not been wearing any of the ribbons? And to note real quick for stuff from earlier, you didn't see one on Dorian, and the only thing that can be counted to that for uh, Burgundy is like the, red, the red bandana. It might not be who you think that you're going after, but then again, I don't know anything, because no one's paid me nothing to be on their side fully yet. Oh, okay. So you're, you're working 
Working on both sides. Oh, I would never sell. Oh, that's an accusation there. Oh, I would yes. never do yes, anything. Yes. Like, why would I work both sides of a thing to simply protect a friend that happens to want some things? Maybe. All right. So I'm getting a little bit. Of, I'm picking up a little yeah. bit that you're not working completely square here, Samuel. I have a job to do, mm -hmm. and you're going to give me some information, or you're going to hit the toad. There may be a place to get water in town. You go up to it, there's a thing that you lower. But who, who am I to say? I don't know nothing that's going right. on in this you town. Right, you know I absolutely I just happen to nothing. know everything that goes on Thank in this you. town. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for not giving us any information. You gave us some information. Also, just to note, I say check out Red Burgundy because I don't trust that thing. <laughs> okay. I think we need to go check out Red I, Burgundy. Or the well first. All right, we'll check out the well. Just and in case. Uh, thank you for not giving us any information. I would not give away any information. It was or a any pleasure. Or any knowledge that I may have, I hope that you slept well in that clearing. So, if you two will see yourselves out of my store, you're interrupting business. How did you know that he was sleeping well in that clearing? I know nothing of this situation and what you just said. That's an accusation. That I don't trust him. I don't trust him. I don't trust, you don't him, trust him at him. all. You're very confusing, Sam. We're leaving. I'm going to leave. We're leaving. I'm going to leave before I you get more one. confused. <laughs> great, great. Yeah, that That's makes me very uneasy. Because I sure. thought it was just you. But remember, Oh. on the way back, did you feel like someone was watching us? Yeah, you. No. Other than you? Yes. Oh, uh, I guess. I, I thought it was you, though. So we're making our way to Choose this well. well. That oh, one. wait, no, no, no. It's this one. It's this one. Well, it's well, gonna... well. There's only two. Oh, wait, oh. there's a third. There's and then another oh, there's one. a fourth. Oh, it's well, 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 well. Well, 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 um. well. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well. We can put in another well. All right. All right. Who do you feel like it is at this point? I will not point fingers just yet. But I know that Samuel is connected to whomever it is. What? I've known him for so long. I, I can't even imagine that being the case. You're just hearing a ting, ting, ting. Like someone's flipping a coin. As you approach the well, you can see that there's someone sitting on it. Um, so how do you want to approach it? Hey! No. Hey. No. <laughs> no, we should not do that. <laughs> I feel like you'd be like, no, 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 and then you dash off. Yes. <laughs> so make me a stealth save. Okay. Nine. <laughs> not not amazing. You see some boxes at the side of you, and you duck off to hit them, and then you just like... Dum, 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 dum. But you're like... A small pointy-eared blue boy with white hair dressed as a newsie. His shirt and vest uh, and pants are covered in dust. His shoes are well cared for. He has a little band-aid that sits on top of his nose, and yellow cat eyes that are burning with confidence. This kid it, believes the f in himself. He scares the hell out of me. He then stops slipping their coin, hops down. Well, well, well. If it isn't Rustin's newest protector. Oh, hey. Roman. I Tripping over yourself as usual, bumping into everything. Yes, yeah, you know me. Standing at about three and a half feet tall is Fast Timmy. He's wearing a bright blue, not greatly tied bow tie. He so he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. He has a shirt and vest. Uh, I'm talking to the crates. First of all, I had no idea how many people in rest and had a South Bronx accent. This is quite <laughs> illuminating. I didn't even realize that. You're from yeah, associated with a uh, with a business person. Yes. That you may or may not have met. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and guess. It's Burgundy. Roman, you've nailed it as always. Thank That's you. exactly who I'm connected to in this situation. Wonderful. Exactly. So. So, who was that friend that you went into town with? Well, I, I Where they happen to be? Went into town. Oh, uh, oh, you mean him. He, well, he got distracted a little bit by the uh, bread store. Mm. Went in there. Ah, had Burgundy a reds. field day with the croissants. Yeah. But then whenever you two walked over to Dorian's and then to Sam's, I'm curious. Well, then it, he he went in that direction. So he's going to investigate the honey right now, the honey theft. Pretty much, yes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. And you oh. knew about that. I didn't even tell you about that. Oh, yes. No, I knew about the honey theft. Oh, uh, no, I didn't know about the honey theft. Oh, no. Uh, you found me out. Gosh, you're good at copping. Thanks. You're very good. You're Wait very good. a minute. <laughs> Are you being slick with me? Roll insight. He's being Five. slick with you. <laughs> Now you listen here, fast to me. Yeah, the barrel of honey. You, we you, you want to know about it? Yes. That just happens to be an ingenious plan that I happen to pull off. Well, it's one of the more ingenious heists that me and my crew were able to. I have no clue how they did it, if I'm being honest. I'm you no don't? Clue. Or how they're alive. I mean, Burgundy's dangerous, and that goat is so resourceful. Yeah, I've never no, steal I know. from that place. I've tried so many times. Always get turned into a goat. 
You so, get turned into a goat? I wasn't talking about that. So, so okay, but do you have any connections to this crew that I could investigate? I may or may not be the person in charge of this crew. Okay. Are you? At this point, I... No, I, I yeah, no, I was going to be like... Well, I am uh, over it because... I meant to ask. This I meant is to ask going absolutely before. nowhere. It was so <laughs> I come out from behind the crate, and I'm like, look... We need Whoa, to know. Well, there you are. <laughs> I was waiting for a full audience to be able to go here. So, what would you two like to know? So you're admitting you stole the honey and the nail. Yeah. Where are they? In a secure location with me and the rest of my crew. Our secret hideout, if you will. What? You'll never find it. In okay, this. so is it in the well? No, it's not in the well. <laughs> Can I ask how many people are in your crew? Three. There are three people in your crew. Mm -hmm. Are you an only child? Yes. So these well, three people- I mean, people... that's a bit messed up, honestly, to ask. I'm an orphan. Yeah, he's an orphan. So the place that you're sitting in front, it's a well that is in front of Aunt Patty's like orphanage. Is Hide your out. secret base the orphanage? I'll tell you what it isn't. I'm not that worried. I mean, do you know the name? It's Fast Timmy. That's true. You ain't gonna catch me. I want you to know what you're dealing with, with the level of speed that you might be working with. I got him, I got him. <laughs> I got him. Wow. <laughs> you will have to roll for that. If you want to grab him, you're going to have to roll. Uh, 20. Oh, what? <laughs> Damn. I got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so where do we go from here? I'm really confused. We know who took it, but... I want to know where this base is. Yeah, yeah where is it? Come on. We dangle him over the well, and we oh, threaten no. to drop him. Whoa, 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 now. We threaten to drop him whoa, unless now. he whoa, tells whoa, us... Whoa, 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 oh, my whoa. dad's going to be so proud of us. Where the well... Where the stuff is hidden. Ooh. It's on the edge of town. It's on the edge of town. Okay, where on the, there's a lot of edges to this town. Ah, oh, you're good. It's on the southern end of town. Anything else is giving up too much of the goat on it. Come on, fellas. I say you let go of that arm and I'm just gonna hold you by I ask that you wall. not dangle me by one arm. Uh, you signed up for that when you stole the honey and the what nail. Are you talking this about? is getting a little intense. I don't are know. you sure? I don't know. If I well, he still hasn't given us a lot of information. He told I feel us like... the southern edge of town. Okay, but is it in a building? Is it in the woods? Is it in a building? It's in a building. It's in a building. It's in a building. On the southern edge of town. Listen, little to Timmy. Listen to it. He'll, he'll do anything, but if, I don't have control over this. If we go to the southern edge of town and I don't find a building, you will really get to know me. Okay, just let's bring take me him, over. Let's take him back. Bring me out over. All right. Here. Mel! So, uh, he yells out Mel. You just hear... You really should have, like, you know... Dropped your ass. Dropped me. What? Um, I told then, you. Uh, no. A little vial of uh, green liquid comes and smashes on the ground behind you and releases a... Big, big cloud of green mist that smells god awful. Oh, it's a stink bomb. Oh, it's a stink god. bomb. That smells horrible. It's like when the freaking goat threw up. Because of this stink cloud, what do you immediately go and do? What do I go and do? What do your hands go and do immediately? What do my hands go and do? Yeah. Uh, I'm not that. I'm not gonna. If you're not go, gonna drop, if, if you're not gonna drop them, <laughs> resilient, ain't you? All right. I gotta call in another backup then. So mid down the street, you see this like, you can see like a bit of a light post yeah. like, sticking up from one of the houses. Right. I request that you let me go now, or that, and then you see the light pole go <laughs> off to the side. Might need to be my other backup. So if we don't let him go, it sounds like we've got a fight ahead of us. Can I use this, um... <laughs> this vicious mockery. So I will warn you, that is a damage spell. Oh, well, I'm assuming we've had to fight, right? Uh, yes. Um, however, <laughs> well, I'm trying to jump the gun. Uh, you, don't however, to, you don't have to get ready to stay ready. Right? <laughs> so if we let you go, what if, mm -hmm. you yeah. will take us and whatever just yeah. f***ed up that light post. Won't be coming after you. I don't trust him, but I'm willing. No, I know. I'm willing to see where this goes. Yeah. What if one of us lets you go? Preferably Roman lets you go. Yeah, because I don't... I would like to hold on. Can I roll for that? Can I roll for Roll for that? persuasion. <laughs> that was really good. Oh, oh, what is it? Persuasion. Nothing. So seven. Roman keeps his <laughs> hand on my shoulder. I got a good grip. Okay, so I'm going to let him go. And I'm going to... Put your hand on put his my shoulder. my hand on your shoulder. Right. And then you hear him yell, Okay, calling that off. Meet us at the base. Okay. Please. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Good. Lit. Right. You walk past the broken light pole, mm -hmm. which was uh, laid in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. And as you're passing here, you see a couple like residential people that are like, what the Sorry. <laughs> What's that smell? Sorry. Y'all just continue walking, walking, walking. You get around to heat. 
Mm -hmm. Stand in front of a large, seemingly abandoned barn. Okay. And then Fast Timmy goes, Here it is, our home. Need to go in. Are the honey and the nail inside? Yes. It's gonna be pretty hard for you to get to it. It's Why? gonna be a little bit rough. I think maybe one, one of, us of us should, should go, go in. in. And the other should stay, stay outside. outside. I think he, he should me. follow you in, and I'm going to keep an eye on the outside of the barn. Deal. Okay. Now you're going inside of the barn? This barn. As you are waiting outside. You and Fast Oh, Timmy. wow. Oh, Look my at this. Gosh. This is the fun. Barn. Welcome to my abode. So if you'll, if you'll please, for the one in charge here, please lead the way. Sure, sure, sure. Boy, you guys, you don't have to pay any sort of rent in this place. And as you walk past, uh, oh, you, uh... Oh, oh, You... Is that a trip cord? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly here, the darts shooting out begin, like, hitting you. Of Fast course. Timmy just... Darts. <laughs> he does not, like... He's moving... Quickly, but like quickly for like a very normal person. Like he's okay. he's moving at this a very normal. He's my moving at a very normal speed. He's, fast. he's moving oh. at a very normal like, speed. Like, you're not that fast. Like, you lie. Like, <laughs> as you look down, they're just sticks. Oh, they're just completely unsharpened sticks. I was ready to meet my maker. <laughs> I was ready to make peace with God. Okay. So there's a doorway here. Yeah. And there is another doorway right here. Okay. Roll for me a investigation. 17. Ooh. Yeah, what? Do you, do, do you, Get in here! Do you yell that from inside or are you going to go like slightly back outside? Uh, I don't want to trip that wire again. <laughs> Smart. So, so I go and I go. And you step over the wire. <laughs> Young one! Don't fucking get in here! So I run. Come I on. run. Hurry. Okay, it's and then frickin'. I run around and I'm like, what is going on? This little freaking tiny ass just ran away from me. I noticed the tripwire. Yes. <laughs> and I was step over it. And I'm like, where did he go? How did you went. lose him? Now I kept an eye on him. As far as you can tell, he probably ran this way, like okay. immediately out and then into this one. I, this looks like rocks. This is not rocks. It's like a bunch of like, like essentially like smaller marbles. Another oh. trap. It seems like he may have also attempted to go with some of the marbles okay. uh, as he ran past it. Probably throw you off a little bit. Oh, okay. So I'll give you both the option of which route that you want to take. Well, it sounds like he wants us to go this way. Mm -hmm. well, I want to go that way. Okay, yeah, we shouldn't split up. I think we should, <laughs> we should, we should, uh, yeah, we'll go down this one. We'll go down this we'll one. We'll go down the one you think he went down. So you feel that your person is a lot lighter. Like something, like you had something Wait. heavy that was weighing you down for a while oh, and no. that you were like, Wait a, Wait a minute. <laughs> Whenever the kid ran. Did I lose my f***ing sword? You lost it. <gasps> Fast Timmy stole your sword. This Fast. is my first day! Fast Timmy, you get the frick back here now! <laughs> oh my gosh, we are going to have to end there on a cliffhanger. I have no idea what's going to happen next, what this dude has planned for us. Find out next time. I, I have absolutely loved this. AJ, thank you so much for setting thank this up. you two for being amazing. Thank you to everybody behind the scenes making this happen. Thank you to Alex and for making all of yes. the beautiful art oh for this God. video. For all of the maps made by Bree Grace. It was fantastic. So much fun. This is the end of this first session, but I would love for more to come. If you like this adventure, please let us know in the comments. Like, subscribe, let us know. If you're interested in watching the last video or any of our previous videos, click over here. And if you're new to the channel, click down here. That is it. And until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace, Peace out. out.